I'm just saying, I thought you were going to crash. Okay, and then you have a bunch of kids in the car. How many kids? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Who are these kids to you? Uh, this is my friend. That's your friend? Yeah. How old is your friend? 18. That girl's not 18? Huh? That girl's not 18? Yeah. No, she's not. No, I don't think she is. That girl's not 18. Trust me. She don't look 18. I am. I'll button my zipper. Yeah, please button your zipper. Yeah. I mean, I had to, I had to take it like a, a piss and... Um, All those people in the car, who are they? They're just my friends. I, don't, I mean... Do you normally hang out with people who, who are young? Not... not how, uh, how old are you? I'm 41. Parents check your kids' social media accounts, their gaming stuff. Uh, you never... Yeah, I never thought in a million years that this would happen to my family, and it is. 41-year-old man is pulled over for suspicion of DUI. Six 12 to 13-year-old kids are with him, and they're not his kids. When asked the child's age, he says, oh, she's 18, because that's the magic number. His fly's undone. There's a bottle of tequila in the car and a bottle of Fireball. What grown man do you know drinks Fireball? From doing the job, there's a sliding scale of DUI. There's a couple of beers you probably shouldn't be driving, and then there's you can't say your ABCs and you're asked for your wallet and it's between your legs and you can't find it. Further investigation reveals the 12 year old girl had miscarried one of his kids. So he picks up an additional charge for that. While sitting in jail and awaiting trial, he's texting her using a guard's phone. Without knowing anything about this family, I already know the story. For whatever reason, the parents are out of the picture and grandma's taking care of these kids. And she's not about to let these grandbabies down so she's out there hustling. She doesn't have time to be going through their phones. The 12-year-old and the 41-year-old met on Snapchat. And the parents of the other five kids in the car, are they even monitoring their kids' phones? Do they even know this happened? I've said it before, have some kind of monitoring on your kid's phone. We use the Bark app. But if I had to do it all over again, I would definitely use the Bark phone. It comes completely locked down, and you can't delete text messages. And it can monitor Snapchat. That's the easy button if you want to check it out. And if you give me a follow on the other platforms, I'd appreciate you.